got this amazing bus, double decker, kitchen downstairs, toilet, two TVs. You go upstairs, you've got a back section with big leather couch, TV, DVD, you know, computer games, a lot of space for the children. Oh, wow. Eight bunk beds if you want to crash out and have a sleep on the long journeys. Welcome to Lee's Pod. This is Lee's oh, Pod. Yes. We'll have some beer and this champagne in there. We've got the PlayStation. This is so good. I spoke to him about rearranging this. I told him how I wanted this. Yes. A small little section that they've called Lee's Pod at the front. Um, I think Lee's Pod is because I went on there with the guy and actually co-designed it with him and said, can we have a couch, a TV, a PlayStation? Or well, Lee's pad, even. We like Lee's pad even better. We love the yeah. well, love that. She's great. Great. Oh, did you see the kiddie gate at the top of the stairs? You wouldn't survive on a coach that just had one area for a whole month with family, children, partners, people coming on. You do need your space. It's just life. Brilliant, isn't it? That's a great goal, love that, great goal. Oh, I've run past him. Keeper, come out. You've got to have your me time. Everybody needs it in different ways. Life on the bus is great for me personally. I think it's brilliant. I have the wonderful Kerry to thank for my solo number, if I'm really honest. And most guys would probably dream of this, but their woman telling them they don't mind girls fornicating all over them. I don't think people expect me to do it, which again is going to be fantastic. It is something I would probably do if I was a solo artist. It's something that I like the feel of. I think it's going to work really well. It will sit nice within the show, but it will be a bit of a surprise. It's a little bit dark, it's a little bit sexy, it's a little bit vampish, and it's just a little bit different. I remember in junior school there was a big list on the wall, and it was a case of like chorus, acting, singing, um, and I just put my name on everything. <laughs> that was the first time I remember actually having the confidence to say I want to sing in front of everybody. I couldn't quite get up. He went from football boots to ballet shoes. That confused yeah. me at the time. <laughs> A big, big thing. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't it? Winning, winning football trophies and doing martial arts three times a week to going off and doing ballet tights. Yeah. We'll go and get ballet shoes that ballet could give the wrong impression. <laughs> Don't try it at home, okay? From an early age, I was a show off. Definitely. And I wanted to be a performer. Yeah. We just went for a laugh and we ended up getting the bloody Lee part and he was one of the T-Birds and I was like, oh god, now I'm Danny in Greece, what do I do? And then all my mates came two or three nights because they loved it, gosh, yeah. they thought it was great. And then nobody believed you could sing as well as you did, actually. No. That. Nobody still believes I can sing as well as <laughs> well, I do. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember calling you up and saying, what's it like speaking to a pop star? When I'd only just been offered it, I hadn't accepted it. And I went, oh no, I don't want you to do that. Think of the drugs. <laughs> Which yeah. obviously that's what I associated Which London fans. And obviously I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where I'm going in my life. This woman was really boasting about her son, wasn't she? And I don't even know what he did. You probably tell a story better than me, but we just got chatting to this lady with me mum, and she was going, "Oh, my son, you know, he's done really hard. He works in London, and he's starting this." I can't really remember whether it, whatever it was. Mm. And I was going, "Oh, that's really good of him to do that. That's well mm. done." And then my mum goes, yes, but you don't know about my grandson, do you? I mean, he's that Lee out of steps, did you know that? And I'm thinking, oh, mum.